Sunday and on Sundays I usually just like originally I'm just a homebody. You would probably never find me outside except I'm being dragged, which I've been dragged lately. Everybody's dragging me outside. I'm not pissed because I feel like I'm young, I should be outside meeting new people, having fun because I'm still young, you know. But today is a lazy Sunday, kind of a lazy Sunday, but then yet still not lazy because I'm working on something for myself. I tend to just like pick one day in the week where I work on something new, uh, a new design or sometimes just a new project or sometimes just something for myself. And for today's video, I am, or for today's Sunday, I am making a, a crop cardigan. I've never made one before. Um, I'm always like a sweater girl, a dress, a skirt, just something more stylish. But I feel like it's just a basic piece that you must have in your order because then you can style it in so many different ways. And you guys need to know the looks that I have in my head because of this cardigan. I can know where to style it. And I think I'm going to make a detailed video of me creating looks with this one cardigan because the looks are just like, they are coming from every area just in my head. And I cannot wait to finish it. But yeah, I started making it yesterday. So I wanted to like take you guys along and show you guys how you can make it if you want to make yours. Again, this is my first time. So obviously I am freestyling. I'm not using any pattern, which I always freestyle my items. <laughs> So I'm going to be freestyling it and I'll show you guys the process of how you can make yourself one if you want to, which I think you would want to after saying this. So I am using this beautiful yarn that I got from Vibra. Again, if you live in the Netherlands, so this is something you already know. I feel like they have one of the best yarns in the Netherlands. The colors are always like so beautiful even the patterns are just so beautiful so i am using the scrunchie and from from vibra one of these i think was a total of three euros and i think three euros should be around three dollars something cent i'll definitely check and let you guys know just in case you want to do a comparison of how much the yen is in dollars um it's 100 percent acrylic yen and the recommended hook is actually a nine millimeter but i am using a 4.5 for this project so let me show you guys what i've got done and then i'll just explain the process of what i did this is what i have complete so this is the back panel again like i said i want the waist to be snatched kind of like a crop jacket or then a crop cardigan kind of stuff um i was thinking of making this a puff puffer jacket because i do have the stuffing i have the filling but I do not have a fabric on and I don't want to go all the way because I do not live in Amsterdam anymore. So I feel like Amsterdam is just probably the easiest way you can get items. But I'm used to because I don't go out. So if I'm used to a place, then I'm used to that place. And I moved and ever since I have not really explored my new city. So if I do want to get stuff like that, I still feel like I need to go to Amsterdam. But again, back to the, the panel that I have made. So as you can see, this is the rib stitch and it's a bit like snatched because I made sure um, it stretches all the way to my actual waist measurement. My actual waist measurement is 30, currently 32, 31, 30, depending on the day, depending on the day, it goes up and down. But basically, as you can see, you can see that the waistband is snatched and then of course I did increase on the third, let me check. Yes, yeah, so I increased on the third row to give it like this kind of oversized effect after the waist area. So I'm going to get started with the front panel, which is basically the same thing as the back panel, just that I'm doing two separate panels instead of a whole panel like I did for the back. So I'm basically going to divide the amount of rib stitch that I did for this back panel into two and then just start working with the amount of rows that I did. So to get started, I'm just going to make a slip knot. Again, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter. So I'm going to make a slip knot and chain 16. So after a total of 16, I'm just going to go right into the second chain. The 
with my first half double crochet which is yarn over insert your crochet hook into the second chain from the hook pull through yarn over pull through or key loop so i'm going to continue with one half double crochet up until the very end and at the end i shall have a total of 15 half double crochet so after my first um row of half double crochet i am going to chain one because again you're going to chain one at the beginning of each row turn and right into the back loop of the first half double crochet i'm going to go with my first half double crochet and i'm going to go ahead and repeat one half double crochet but in the back loop because we want the rib effect i'm going to go in the back loop with one half double crochet in each row up until in each half double crochet up until the very end of this row so right here you're just going to chain one and then you're going to repeat this pattern for um the half of your measurement so basically if your measurement is 30 inches if your waist in general is 30 inches you're going to divide that by two and then you're going to repeat this pattern for 15 inches but because i already did my back panel i'm not going to do this for 15 inches i'm just going to do it for seven and a half inches because seven and a half is the, basically the half of 15 inches so you're basically let's say for example you're working on the back panel but i'm working on the front panel i'm just showing you guys the way i made mine so you're just basically going to repeat the same pattern in the back loop until you have the half of your desire um measurement basically so right here i have a total of 13 um rows of half double crochet again if you're making um the back panel that means you obviously need to do more so i did a total of 26 rows of half double crochet for my back panel so again that means i'm doing 13 for the one panel one part of the front panel basically because we are doing two front panel so afterwards i'm just going to go ahead and chain one because again remember you're going to chain one at every at the beginning of every row yeah so chain one and right into this first space i'm going to go with double crochet so i'm basically going to work my way with one double crochet in every available space so, so basically i'm going to work my way with one double crochet in every available space so you're just going to continue to do this just make sure you count how many double crochets you did so you can do the same for the opposite um front panel if you're doing the back panel again you can still count but again i don't think it's really necessary for you to because we could, you did the same amount of half double crochet anyway so i I'm just guessing the space that are going to be available will probably be the same but for the front panel i would definitely definitely advise you count how many double crochets you're doing just so you do the same on the opposite side of the front panel so i'm just going to do one double crochet this is how it looks so basically one double crochet up until the very end where i'm going to chain one and continue turn and then do one double crochet in every double crochet from the previous row up until the very end and then i'm gonna come back at row two and show you guys how what the increase pattern is because remember i told you there is an increase pattern for the the cardigan so basically i just finished row two and i did a total of 26 26 double crochet like i said you're just going to do double crochet in every space available and mine was a total of 26 so for the second row again you're just repeating rows of double crochet without increasing and decreasing but the third row is where we're going to increase and that is um we're only increasing for one row because the rest of the double crochet is going to be without increasing and decreasing and the increase pattern is basically chain one um turn and then right into this first double crochet you're going to go with two double crochets because the increase pattern is basically two double crochet in the first double crochet and one double crochet in the next two double crochet in the next and then one double crochet in the next and two double crochet in the next and one double crochet in the next and then in the next and then in the next basically that's what we're doing 
so right here i'm just going to go to double crochet and into the next i'm going to go with my one double crochet ran out of yarn so let's grab another ball basically i'm just going to go ahead and just attach my next yarn and what i usually do is i grab the two because this is the new yarn and this is the old one i'm just gonna grab it right there and just go ahead and double crochet right over it so i don't have to do this at the end and just so it's secure because i did not make a knot i did not want to so right there i just did my last my one sing double crochet so right here i just did my double crochet so that means the next one is going to be two double crochets so basically going to go with one again i'm just going to do my double crochet right over this two strings of yarn that i have there and that means i'm going to go one double crochet into the next because i just did two in the previous one so i'm basically going to repeat this pattern one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet is the increase pattern for the entire row and then i'll come back and show you guys what the increase looks like afterwards this is what it's currently looking like so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat um the other panel again after my increase on row three i just went ahead and did one double crochet in every space chain one turn one double crochet and i did a total of 14 rows for this panel and i did for the back as well so after the rib i did a total of 14 rows of double crochet which is just 15 inches so i'm just going to repeat the same process for the opposite panel and then i'm just going to go on and just stitch everything together and work on the sleeves i have all my panels complete so i'm now going to go ahead and just single crochet three of them together i'm going to single crochet the top and i'm also going to do the side and i think for the side i'm just going to go right from the second row all the way to the waist to the hip to band and i'm going to do the same on the opposite side as well So basically, I had to take off my entire front panel. I already fixed this one because then I realized that I didn't leave an opening. I went ahead and did the same amount of double crochets that I did for the back panel, which means there was no opening at the neckline. And of course, that's an error. I don't know what I was thinking. So I had to go back and just take off the entire panel, front panel so um, i also just realized that the top the cardigan is a bit too short so remember i told you guys i did 14 rows so i'm going to go ahead and add more rows and i'm just going to basically do 18 rows instead of 14 rows just so it might it can be a bit longer um because when i just tried it on it was a bit too short for what i was actually going for so again i'm just going to show you guys what the increase pattern is for the front panel remember the back panel was one double crochet and two double crochet in the next one double crochet and two double crochet in the next so because we are going to be subtracting so we can have a space and an opening at the neckline we are going to switch the um increase pattern for the front panels so instead of one double crochet and two double crochet in the next we are going to in this case do increase to double crochet in the first so i'm going to chain one and right into this first i'm going to go with two double crochet and right into the next into the same with yeah basically with two double crochet so basically for me I to the next i'm just going to go with one double crochet and out of here right there and i'm going to continue to do three double crochet in every space so basically i'm going to go ahead and do three more double crochet so basically i did two double crochet in this first 
space one two three four double crochet and into this fifth double crochet from the previous row i'm going to go now with two double crochet right into that same space so the increase pattern is basically like two double crochet in the first four double crochet into the next four double crochet and then into the fifth one you're going to go with two set of double crochet i, I hope you guys understand but i'm basically just making sure i do not have i have less amount for the back panel from the back panel just so we have an opening we are only increasing for row three so the rest of the pattern is going to be worked without increasing and decreasing just basically i just wanted to show you guys um the mistake i made because i already mentioned um the pattern so i just wanted to come back and show you guys that i made a mistake and how you can go about correcting the mistake so i'm basically going to finish this um row and continue to do chain one at the beginning of each row and work a total of um eighteen um, rows and i'm just going to come back and show you guys what it looks like So for the sleeves, I'm just going to go ahead and make a slip knot and chain a total of 17 chains. By the way, I'm still using the 4.5 millimeter. So after my 17 chain, I'm going to go into the second chain from the with my first half double crochet, and I'm going to make sure I do one half double crochet up until the very end. And afterwards, I'm just going to continue this until I have a total of 16 um, rows of half double crochet. So I actually have a total of 16 rows. So that is a total of eight and a half inches. But of course, it stretches all the way, and it's just enough to go around my waist right here, as you can see. And I don't want it to be too low, so that's the reason why I stopped at 16 rows. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet both ends together because we will be working on the sleeve from here on. So I'm just basically going to single crochet both ends together. So after slip stitching both ends together, I'm just going to turn this inside out. And this is how it looks. And so for the first row, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet in every space available all around. So coming right at the first single crochet I made, I'm just going to do my last single crochet right on this, right at this last space, and right on top of this first single crochet, I'm going to go ahead and do my double first double crochet, and right into that same space, I'm going to go ahead and do another double crochet right in there, because this is going to be an increase row. So we are going to increase for the first double crochet row. So basically, I'm go just going to go ahead and do two s double crochet. In every single crochet from the previous row and into the next with two double crochet so I'm basically going to continue this for the entire row and when I get to the start I'm just going to go right on top of this first double crochet row with double crochet because then we will not be increasing so I'm basically going to go right on top of this row with one double crochet in every space until I have my desired sleeve length So right here I have my sleeve. So I was supposed to do a total of 15 rows, but this is how much yarn I have left. And because I'm making this for myself, I don't think I would want to wait for a new set of yarn to come in store so I can finish it. Because again, I went today to get this uh, remaining yarn, um, and I only got three balls. Yeah, I only got three balls of yarn. 
and this is the rest so again this is the cardigan i would actually advise you to measure the cardigan itself from the sleeve right here because this is going to fall right on top of your shoulder up until the very end because it's crunchy you really don't need your sleeves to be super long so this itself is basically 10 and a half and plus the sleeve that i have made which is like 14 and 15 it's almost done to this inches which is the perfect length for my sleeve anyway so because i have this much remaining i'm just going to go ahead and just single crochet um the sleeve to the panel and to do that all i'm going to do is i'm going to turn my cardigan outside inside out basically to do i'm just going to take the entire sleeve and attach it inside the cardigan and I'm just going to take it out on the opposite end. So I'm just going to take it out inside. And just make sure the sleeve itself. Let me balance this one. So right now you can see that my sleeve is actually inside my cardigan so i'm going to go ahead and take the extra yarn that i have left outside and i'm also going to make sure i align both the sleeve and the cardigan in the perfect way in a good way so basically after your increase it should be actually the right amount to just go around the cardigan so that was the reason why we actually increased as well so we have the same amount because the sleeve of course are really it's oversized basically so from here on i'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch both the sleeve and the cardigan together all around the cardigan so i'm basically just going to go all around and slip stitch both together hey guys so i finished the cardigan i love 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 it i did run out of yarn as you guys see from the video so i couldn't really like give it a, i wanted to like add some rows of single crochet around the neckline all the way to the bottom but i couldn't but then again i'm not even pissed because i really love how this came out sleeve i think these are my favorite about the, the cardigan i love this puff effect going on and again it's really thick and crunchy and i just kind i feel so warm in it right now because i have a jumpsuit underneath um th this just keeps you warm basically and this is how it looks from the back like this and then obviously it's really cropped as you can see so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i did while making it um i think i enjoyed this kind of tutorials more than the overhead tutorials but let me know what you guys think and if you like this video and if you learned something from me don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share this video as well um and if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to join the family you're highly 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 welcome thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye